All right, hi everybody. Um, this video, I'm gonna talk briefly about a quick, easy modification I do to my needlefish that anyone can do. It takes seconds. Um, I love this particular. This is what I do with heavy needlefish. I hear a lot of guys say that they feel them dragging in the sand, and they do. Um, they should drag so, a little bit, but not a lot. And uh, we're just gonna discuss briefly how to help that drag, minimize that drag. There's one thing that I do, and it works for me, and hopefully it'll work for you. Okay, I got a new needlefish here. I always like to keep backups. I think I might have lost one. So, I always like to have a spare on. When you get in one of these here needlefish, oftentimes they come with a bucktail and a pretty bucktail and a pretty heavy hook. So when you get your needle out of the package, you notice it's got a fairly, at least 3x hook on it, and it's dressed. Um, number one, I don't like that dressing. I just think it adds to some short strikes. The needle has a big enough profile, if you ask me. Um, so that unnecessary. Number two, that's just a heavy hook. If some come with a heavy, you know, if you needles that you purchase come with that a 3x, 4x hook um, oriented down as well as you can see you don't want that because that hook is oriented down that hook and watch your needle when you work it to your sand in front of you in the day is going to catch sand and that's what's making you drag even more you want your needle to bounce off the bottom if you're going to be working it low so this is what I do to avoid that needle from dragging excessive. So this is one of mine modified needles. As you can see, the tail hook is not dressed. And you can see it's a that's a, that's a pretty that's a lighter hook and it's just thinner and lighter and what I like to use is just the gamakatsu Siwash open eyes. Um, I get them in bulk. And this is a size 5.0. Um, that's a slightly bigger hook. That's at least 6.0. Could be 7.0. I don't know. And uh, but I will use the Gamakatsu 5.0. Uh, you could use 6.0. You could use 4.0. 4.0 will definitely make it a lot lighter. You'll drag a lot less. Um, substantially, I don't think so with the open eye sidewash Gamakatsu hook. And I just crimp that on. And as you can see, the hook is oriented up. So when I'm bringing my lure in, that hook is not going to be digging in the sand. Plus, it's a lighter hook. So it is not going to be as tempting for the hook to dig into sand to begin with. And your needle is going to bounce off the bottom uh, better. It's going to be more buoyant. It's going to ride more level. And uh, that's just something I do to my needlefish and I like lighter colors in the day and darker colors at night and you can see I orient that hook up and that's going to keep your needle from dragging and I think you're going to be able to work it in more often better conditions you're going to be able to work it uh, in heavy and light surf um, and your range is just going to broaden because you'll still be able to work those heavier waters. Deep, deep, deep water, heavy, heavy, heavy current, I don't think it makes a difference. But the waters that I fish generally, it makes a huge difference to orient that hook up and use a lighter hook. And I'm not a big fan of dressed tail hooks on needlefish. But that's a, one thing that I do to my needlefish to make them more fishing friendly. And it works for me. Um, may work for you, so give it a try. The hook that I prefer to use is the Gamakatsu Siwash Open Eye. Um, this is just the hook I use. You can use any hook, just as long as it's a lighter hook. And from about a size 4.0, which is going to be slightly lighter, to a size 6.0, which is going to be slightly heavier. They'll all do the trick, especially if you orient that hook facing upwards. Now, you can use any hook. A great hook to use is the Mustad Doratin, uh, uh, what is that, 30? 407. Oh god, I always forget the number. Um, from the size, this is these these are slightly bigger, but uh, from a size 40 to a size 60 work uh, just as well. It is a smaller, uh, lighter. Even the 70, you can see, 
it's just a lighter thinner hook that's a bigger hook I would not use well you could use the 70 but I would prefer to use a 40 to 60 mustad hook as well now real briefly some of your needlefish have a split ring and some don't you don't really need it but do keep in mind if you don't have that split ring I believe uh, Super Strike makes if they don't have that ring their ring is going to be oriented up and down so when you put on that uh, eye hook your hook is going to be oriented to the left as such and I've worked them just as such and they work just as fine or you can add a split ring to give it uh, another twist around so your hook you can add a split ring uh, with the the mustad hook and slide it in but just keep that in mind um, you're going to be just fine with it oriented sideways it's just going to be supreme with it oriented up just something to keep in mind food for thought now this is just something I primarily do like I said with my heavy uh, heavier needlefish lighter needlefish too I do they use the same hooks with a lighter needlefish um, but in the grand scheme uh, I think it makes a bigger difference with those heavier needlefish, but I do do it with my lighter needlefish as well. So you can do it with any needlefish. Uh, a wooden needlefish, though, however, you might want to add that weight. Uh, my wooden needlefish, I will use a heavy-duty hook on my wooden needlefish. But uh, that's just getting out of context, and, you know, with going into other things. But on a wooden needle. I actually prefer a heavier hook uh, because they just kind of ride the surface and sink very slow. So that extra hook may give it a little more sink that you want. Okay, I'm going to get going, but this is just something real briefly that uh, I like to do to my needlefish because it's uh, one of my favorite lures to work. They're a fun, versatile, a crazy lure. You can fish in a thousand different ways. That's why I love the needle. Um, Again, real briefly, I like to use a lighter hook, and I orient that hook so it faces up. Those are the two simple things you got to do, that I do, you don't have to do, do what you want, and uh, it's my needlefish to make them work better in a heavier surf. Alright, I'm going to get going, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel or not, and uh, remember always, fish your way, and I'm going to get fishing. Thanks again for watching.